Hello, my name is Betsy Webb. I'm the superintendent of Bangor School Department, and today I have Paul Butler with me, principal of Bangor High School. And I just would like to talk about the graduation for this year. I know there's been an article recently right. in the paper, and that I believe there's some people that have some questions about um, the process and the cost. And right. so I think the best thing to do is just have a conversation sure. in order to inform our community. Right. Let's start with the, the basic question. What is the cost for a Bangor High School senior for the graduation ceremony? It uh, remains as it, as it was a long time before my arrival at the high school. The only cost that a student bears is the cost of the cap and the gown. Okay. And we're in that process now actually finishing it up. Uh, seniors, as they make their way through the year, we kind of deliberately wait. We don't want them to... Okay be putting on the cap and gown too early, but uh, call them down and just work with them and uh, the, the simple process, hey, time to order your cap and gown. Right. So we're in that process. It's kind of fun because it's a it's a marker, but that's really the only expense that they bear. They uh, order a cap and gown that's custom to their size, they keep it, and it's a total of uh, $26. Okay, so $26 is the only cost for a student for the graduation. Correct. And what if a student struggles to find $26. Maybe their yeah. family is in a difficult yeah. situation. A number of situations that we're aware of along the way, and I think uh, we make the overture to some students. There's a number that we take aside privately that we know and we'll just offer um, uh, uh, payment, take it, off their, take it off their list of things to do, I guess. Right. Um, so that's among the students that we've become aware of for whom $26 is, is a lot. Right. And in all the ways that good schools operate, we identify folks who support um, the provision of those, those uh, funds, private funds for those things. We have other sources of, of income that uh, we use to help any student. So a handful, maybe a dozen or so in any year. Right. But there are uh, there are some students that we help with that with that fee as well. So. Right, and I you know we have so many citizens and organizations that provide donations for these types of exactly. expenses, and and never would the price of a cap and gown be a barrier for someone to participate. Uh, absolutely not. Now, I know we're talking about graduation, but in my time, five years now at high school, there have been folks who have special expertise in community photography. Mm -hmm. As you think about senior pictures, mm -hmm. December time, uh, they'll make overtures and we'll, we'll arrange for students to have those settings. And it's things that, it's the goodwill of the community, it's a great community, and we have students that in all those ways, we want them to enjoy school, mm -hmm. we want them to enjoy the senior year, not, not just with the cap and gown, right. but uh, we have students that uh, get helped in all kinds of ways. Yeah, all right, another um, misperception, is you know the class the class of 2016 has been raising money right. but that money is not for graduation what no. is that money for now the class raises money over the course of the year they're four years together they have class council they have advisors some faculty that work with them to raise money in different ways over the four years and that money goes to support senior week activities primarily the senior banquet and senior prom mm -hmm. and uh, it's, I think it's a pretty standard high school tradition that classes raise funding in different ways to support those activities. Ultimately, when the senior year comes and the senior week comes, the money that they've raised offsets a larger cost of putting on nice events because we want them to be nice. Our tradition is to have a sit-down banquet. Our tradition is to have a nice prom. There is still a small expense for ticketing. But the largest expense is paid by the funds that the class is raising to take pride in it. Right, right. Yeah. So just wanted to make sure that the citizens understand that money is not for graduation. Right, right. Um, and, and we had a unique situation this year. We were approached at the end of the summer by the city leadership and the Cross Insurance Center. They had an opportunity to bring in an international um, act that would bring in profit right. for them. And uh, we understand we're partners with right. the city. And so we've been working with them and we will have graduation at the Alphon uh, Center at the University of Maine. 
What I think people need to know is that the rental fee for the Cross Insurance Center is waived for the Bangor School Department. We only pay for direct expenses, and last year it was approximately $2,500. Um, and what is so nice is that our partners, the Cross Insurance Center, has agreed to pick up the expense at the Alphon Center. Um, and I mean, they've even offered to make sure our setup is the right. same. Can that, that was some of the, the mechanics, of course, when it became uh, finalized that we would have the, the graduation this year at Alphon. Now you're working with two entities, mm -hmm. and the folks at Cross have been really interested in making sure that that event, and that's been our standard, is of high quality. A formal graduation, Alphon hosts a number of graduations, high school graduations. It worked out that it was available on that weekend. There was some adjustments that needed to be made uh, around timing of the facility, and ultimately it worked out in our conversation with Cross and with the uh, University of Maine that we could keep on our timeline our Friday rehearsal, our Saturday access for preparation, our Sunday event, with all the elements that go into making a formal graduation and making it a special event for students. So no question, um, there's been some give with the folks at Alphond. Uh, there's been tremendous give from the folks at Cross to make sure that the stage and the chairs, and we're a little fussy about graduation. We want it to be that special culminating moment. And with that give and with a little more planning, I think it, I, I know it will be the type of event that will be memorable. Right. Absolutely. And, it, you know, I guess another question that I've heard is what about students that may struggle to travel to Orange? Yeah, we've, we've made plans because we do have seniors, of course, are done academically. The Friday heading into the, um, to the graduation weekend, we have a formal rehearsal. It's when our tradition has been, when it's been local, students make their own transportation there in the morning. We just thought that getting to Orno, there are some students that may have never been to Orno. There's some students that may not have private transportation. And there's some students who, with even a six or seven mile distance struggle. So we're offering a bus mm -hmm. and backing up to the, once the details about uh, the graduation weekend uh, being allowed to be parallel to what we've always done, we sent a communication out to senior families that lines it right up. And a key feature of that was the opportunity for students on the rehearsal day uh, to get a ride from the high school, normal busing in the morning, and then we'll take students up to do the rehearsal on that day. And you know, it's not, uh, even in past years when it's been across or prior to that, the auditorium, we provided that opportunity to students anyway. So it's nothing new. Right. Where they still, students will still have, if they have private transportation, the opportunity to go on their own. We set pretty firm deadlines and we expect them there and make it important, but we have provided that that busing piece that's a little more unique, but not totally unique this year. Right. Great. Is there anything else that you think the community should know about the graduation for 2016? Well, I cannot it, believe we're talking yeah, about this. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> the year is flown. Uh, well, it, it, it really is all of the normal things that we've done, all of the pageantry, all the formality, all the celebration, same time, same sequence, different place. And the way I thought about it was, that's the land, you know, that's the, the, the Hallmark campus. That's the main campus of the University of Maine. I received the diploma there. A number of our teachers and maybe students, community members received the diploma there. And uh, even though it's a different venue, it's still going to be special. And uh, I've received good feedback from community members. Uh, I think our communication's been good given the circumstances. So we're looking forward to a really good event. Great, great. And if anyone has questions about the graduation ceremony, please make sure to contact Bangor High School. Thank you.